All right, I'm going to have a go at the Guardian's Weekly Everyman crossword. Let's see how this goes. Polish admirer nude. Oh, of course, it could be polish, rub, something like that. Uh, yes, de the definition Polish or polish, or is it nude, bare? Uh, I don't see how that would work. Uh, nude might mean we take take the outer letters of, let's say, a word for admirer, a fan, or a, uh, it would have six letters, and then you remove the outer and you get a word for polish, but I don't see it. Let's try the downs. Uh, scuba, radar, deployed, voracious fish. Okay, I think this one is fairly straightforward. Deployed, telling us to anagram scuba, radar. And we get barracudas. Makes me think of the band Heart, Great Riff. Ooh, so... Oh, well, nude could be bare. But, uh... Yep, so how would that have come? Let's take a look at two down. Taking LSD, greasy hippies, in the end, they're in a cell. Uh, well, I think it's going to be something that's probably in a body cell. And seeing LSD, I'm thinking it's some kind of acids. Uh, amino acids. I think hippies in the end might simply be giving us an S at the end, but where will, are we going to get greasy? Let me put in amino acids. Maybe there's another kind of acid. Greasy. Um... No, yeah, I don't like that. But we'll take a look maybe at some of the other crosses. Uh, curses and rants being heartless. Uh, here it sounds like we're going to probably have a word for rants and remove its inner letter or letters and get curses. Uh, rats, maybe? Oh, yeah, could it simply be removing the inner letter of rants? That's very straightforward, if that's right. Uh, so then what kind of acids would this be? They're in a cell. No, don't see it. Oh, if so, if bear is right, then it would be R something T. And greasy could be oily, but I think the T is probably going to be part of a word. Oh, um, oh, fatty, I think. Fatty acids. Yeah, so between the fatty for greasy and the S at the end of hippies, we put acid. Oh, of course. Oh, it's a triple definition. I love a triple definition. A buff. So if you polish something, you buff it, uh, you can be a train buff, or you can be in the buff. I like it. All right, straightened, distressed, but back in office. Ten letters. Uh, straightened has ten, and I think if we distress or anagram it, I think it's going to be an RE word, back to put something back or someone... I think it's reinstated. Uh, just eyeballing it, it looks right. Oh, let's, let's try these downs. Nobleman over there at crack of dawn. Oh, well, I think a nobleman could be an earl, and we're going to get some early word. Yeah, if something is over there, it is yawn. And early on... Yeah, um, I think the question mark is saying it's not exactly a definition of early on, saying crack of dawn, but it, it is early on in the day, I suppose. 
How about buried in Parthenon a gong? One with straight edges, okay. I think a pretty obvious hidden clue, buried within. And we have a nonagon, a nine-sided shape. At, sadly, a place of trade, stocking American, <laughs> flipping, fishy dish. Oh my goodness. I think this one is going to involve some very complicated wordplay. Sadly can indicate an anagram. Well, I wonder if at sadly is just telling us to start with TA. Then a place of trade shop or something. But stocking American. And then, oh, maybe we then have to flip that. And I think it's going to be a fishy dish. Oh, I'm not great on seafood. So, yeah, I'm not, uh, not thinking what that might be. All right, how about in the auditorium, Drew, amphibian. I think in the auditorium is telling us it's a homophone. It's a funny way to indicate what people might hear. Oh, so I think amphibian surely is a toad, and it sounds like T-O-W-E-D. Yeah, Drew, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people will put in tide. If you drew a game, you tied it, but I think it's Drew as in pulled or toad. Uh, do be quiet, lolly. Well, lolly can be slang for money, as can dosh, so it's do, and if you tell someone to be quiet, you shush them. Oh, how about this one? Ho, abruptly, draw back, draw back, one who entered tomb. I mean, that ho is so odd, I think it must be be part of an anagram, but I don't see an anagram indicator. I am thinking if it's um, the guy who discovered the tomb of Tutankhamun, something Carter, I think was his name. But um, yeah, I can't think of his first name. I may have to go to Wikipedia for that, but let's go back to the acrosses. Way to wear swimwear in major thoroughfares. Oh, I'm, I'm thinking, well, I think it's going to be something roads. Yeah, way to wear. What is the swimwear going to be? Uh, I'm keeping of ring roads, but it's not that major. Yeah, ring roads, I suppose, really aren't major. Um, grand something. Oh my goodness, I should be able to get that, but nothing is coming to me. Your way might be a street, S-T-R-R-D, and if it wears swimwear, then we have a word for swimwear around it. Yeah, what are, what are that going to be? Trunks? Oh, yes. Ah, that is it. Trunk roads. Yeah, I just remember that in Britain, uh, swimming... Shorts are called trunks, and uh, road is the way, so very obvious. Oh, this is unusual with the two Ys. I'm thinking it must be any something. So began my day unpredictably. It's a toss-up, uh, an anagram of so began my day. 
would give us anybody's game. All right. Portion of, well, I'm immediately thinking a hidden clue, Cinnabon, chai, nourishing, and free. If you free somebody, maybe you unchain them. A Swiss, multinational, and Dutch cozied up. Ooh. Ah, uh, yeah, so the Swiss multinational company is Nestle. Dutch must be simply D. And if you cozied up to somebody, you nestled. Uh, reckoned was plausible. Well, I think there's a sense of reckoning is doing a calculation, adding up. Uh, ready reckoner and all that. And if something adds up, it seems plausible. Ah, yes, I looked here and um, Howard came back to mind. Howard Carter. Uh, so I think Ho is simply H-O. Drawback is Ward. Ah, uh, but then... I don't get the drawback. Um, yeah, um, and the abruptly. No, I, I, yeah, I do not understand how we get Carter. Drawback. Yeah, um, please put your answers on a postcard. Uh, yeah, no idea. How about this fishy dish? Oh, I'm sure a lot of you see those letters and immediately know what it is. I'm going to pause and think what's going to come between the R and the M. Well, I thought maybe it was another A and uh, did a Google and I see there's a dish called Tara Masalata. Never heard of it and I'm struggling to type it in. There we go. It is a Greek fish roe dip. Oh, I do see you might put an O in there also. Um, is Salata simply salad? But uh, let's see, where is the place of trade? Uh, not seeing that. At, sadly. Oh, I think that A. No, might be simply an A. Stocking American flipping. No, I'm uh, not seeing that, so I'll leave it in for now. Initially, Schubert and Liszt's illustrious educator, renowned Italian. All right, we look for one of these every week in the Everyman. Initially telling us to take the first letters of all of the others, and we get the uh, Salieri, who apparently is completely misrepresented in the film Amadeus. But uh, anyway, that is the renowned, renowned, excuse me, Italian. All right, every man's describing idiot husband, misguided satire, crazy scenes. Well, every man is usually I are me, I think in this case it's going to be me, and describing, I think we've seen this before, means you can put one word around another. I have a feeling that the idiot is going to be an ass, and then a husband, because I'm thinking immediately crazy scenes could be mass hysteria. Yeah, we end with an anagram of satire. Oh, and 
every man's apostrophe s is my all right okay a uh, deal our collapse um, I'm thinking if you deal something, you push it, as in a drug pusher. Um, but our collapse, is there a phrase for collapse? Push out, push, push off. I mean, maybe the R is significant for the wordplay. Oh, pass out. Ah, yes, yeah, so if you deal cards, you pass them out. But if you pass out, then you collapse. Was hacking chesty daughter given treatment? Well, if you've watched my videos, you know I have a problem with a little uh, nagging cough, so I can sympathize with this chesty daughter. Um, I think it's going to be a treatment, although of course treatment might indicate an anagram, the question mark makes me think something funny is going on here. Of course might be was hacking and it's a past tense word, of course hacking not just the computer or the coughing but could also be hacking with an axe. Uh, and then chesty. Oh, yeah, maybe it's an anagram of chesty plus D. That would make sense. And, um, oh, side the, <laughs> side the, 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 I find anything with a TH quite, tricky, especially with that SC at the start, side of... Anyway, I think, yes, if you were hacking down grass, for example, or crops, you might have been scything. All right. Uh, oh, I skipped over a couple of downs. Plans suggested by erotic etchings. Come up and see my etchings. Um, Oh, yes, uh, Blue Prince. All right. So it's just a charade, I suppose. Uh, to make greater numbers is Swedish band touring a capital city. Oh, could the Swedish band be ABBA? Or my favorite Swedish band, the Cardigans. I don't think it's them. Um... Ace of Base? Uh, no, I think it must be... Yes, of course, it's Addis Ababa is a capital city. Am I saying that right? I don't know where to put the stress. But is plus the Swedish band... Oh, to make greater numbers, I think, might be simply add, then an anagram of is Abba, and then finally another A to give us Addis Ababa. All right, ooh, here we go. Irish musician in African country needing no introduction. Good old Enya. And so the country is Kenya without its introductory letter. I skip this one. A character seen towards the end of the French lieutenant's woman. Oh, that's a, yeah, there's a question mark, too. I think every man is quite pleased with himself for this one. Uh, the French, of course, could be la or la. Yeah, I wonder if it's a character is in a hieroglyph. Oh, I wonder if it's apostrophe. Because, well, there is an apostrophe there. Yeah, I'm, I'm usually bad at ones that refer to punctuation within the definition or the clue. Uh, but I think, I think it's just that apostrophe. 
So it's not really towards the end. Well, I suppose it is closer to the end than the beginning. All right, pasta sauce in uniform covered with bit of old cloth. Well, we've had this before. I know because I think I said something about it being a brand name in the United States, but it's just a generic term for pasta sauce ragu. So we have U for uniform, but it is covered with a rag. All right, while using phone, removed central part of cable. Uh, yeah, is it something about making a phone call? And it's a word for a cable, but we remove its central letter or letters. I'm wondering if it could be cord. No. Oh, um, uh, maybe while using phone is, is a homophone indicator for a word for removed. And it's going to be the central part of cable. No. Well, of course, the central part of Cable is the B, so maybe it's a word for phone or using phone with a B and we have to remove that. No, I don't see it. All right, actor waiting where Cluedo weapon concealed. Ooh. Oh. An actor waiting, yeah, I think is the definition, would be an understudy. <laughs> and uh, I suppose the weapon might be concealed in the study. Not sure about the under part. Uh, I know, don't you put the, well, no, I think you put the, the solution in an envelope, if I remember playing Cluedo. And for American viewers, it's known as Clue, but Cluedo in Britain, um, yeah, but I think that's uh, close enough. How about eats pilaf regularly here? So every second letter of eats pilaf is Asia, or I suppose you might definitely eat rice. All right, oh, <laughs> forgot about my... Um, Oh, so I'm thinking cord. Ah, yes. Yeah, so it is a homophone. If you remove the central part of an apple, for example, you would core it. So you'd say you cord, C-O-R-E-D, and that sounds like cord for cable. All right, well, fairly straightforward today, I thought. Uh, so not too many issues other than that. Uh, fishy dish, which I've never heard of. I did have to look that up. Anyway, thanks as always for watching and have a great day.